location of the old halponics. You see the aquaponic system is gone. The wicking bed is full of goodies. Got a netting up around it all the way around to keep these birds out of it because they want to go play. Rain barrel. There's the new greenhouse. The hoop house. Got that design from YouTube. Got all of this stuff from YouTube. I'm going to give you a quick walk through. I'm not going to make a lot of explanation. Just want to show you a little bit of what's going on here. This is the aquaculture system. Air being provided by the Venturis. Thank you, YouTube. SLOs, YouTube, cut off the air, all you got is water flow, Venturi, look it up on YouTube, that's a swirl filter, got that design from several different YouTubes, Mainly uh, Paul Vanderort. Thank you, Paul. The biological filter. It's full of uh, uh, net cloth, uh, uh, shade cloth that I had laying around. It's uh, lifted off the bottom. There's about a six inch void in the bottom where it's nothing but swirling water. From the biological filter it goes to the sump and gets pumped back up into the beds. This barrel will eventually go here where the waste will be collected at the bottom of the swirl filter. I have an inverted uh, shower drain down there in the center and that will suck it up and transfer it over to the mineralization tank and uh, then I'll use the water from the mineralization tank which is loaded with nutrients and transfer it over into the reservoir for the hydroponic system flood and drain There you go. Love those bell siphons. Four individual beds, all draining down into the sump tank. From the sump tank, it's pop, pumped back up into the reservoir. You see the bell siphons draining in there. It's pumped right back up into the reservoir and flows down in all the beds. Lots of good greens come out of this. There you go. Quick walk through. New greenhouse. New aquaculture system. New design on the hydroponic system. And uh, lots of space for expansion in the near future. Thanks for watching.